dear subscribers, friends and orchid lovers, welcome to my channel, welcome to Phalaenopsis Orchid channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, so we can keep making these videos for you all. Today I will be showing you this beautiful orchid planted in unusual for orchid closed system, which is at its full bloom. For those who are interested in orchid name we are seeing in front of us, hybrid Phalaenopsis called Andorra. If you want to see this orchid still in its old pot, at the end of the video I will be sharing a video link so you can check it out. There are many ways on how we can plant our orchids. The most usual one uh, is a plastic pot with side and bottom holes, which help keeping the pot media well drained. That's why we all use it. But this potting system in front of us is closed one. So practically I have planted this orchid in a tall glass vase and there are no holes at all. The planting materials which were used are leca, sphagnum moss and orchiata bugs of different sizes. This plant we uh, planted two weeks ago and I have already watered it one time by filling 75% of the water and draining it after 20 minutes by turning the vase upside down. As I generally do water all my newly orchids with 20, um, maybe 30 minutes of soaking for first two three times, this drainage process is done only two or three times totally. I will be posting later on, uh, later on a video how to water closed system orchids. So, okay, let us see the roots of the orchid up close. Frankly, there is only one root that dried out. This root was aerial root, which already was drying. So by placing this aerial root in the soil, I tried to save it, but it, not, but it didn't work out. All other roots, as you can see, are in good condition, but clearly they need to be watered. You see this silverish whitish color. This indicates that orchids needs water, which I will be doing in my next video for you. So in this planting I have used 5 uh, to 7 cm of le leca, 3 or maybe 4 cm of sphagnum moss, a lot of orchiata bugs and I added a second layer of sphagnum moss which is about 1 cm at the top of the bugs. This will, helps to, this will help to keep the upper part of the pot moisturized. As sphagnum absorbs a lot of water this helps really a lot. But which are the benefits of using this, pit, uh, this potting media? Well, leca do not rot and I intend to keep a little bit of water at the bottom of the vase. So the 80% of leca will be in water constantly. Above the leca we have placed a uh, uh, first layer of sphagnum moss. My ultimate goal for placing uh, this moss is making it grow within the vase so it will drain the water from leca upwards and eventually it will start growing. This bottom layer of moss will also be passing a moisture towards the lower level of the barks. By providing a moisture on the bottom of the vase, we will force orchid to grow roots towards the source of the, source of the water. You need to keep in mind that such systems are watered later on with little water. Misting the upper layer of sphagnum moss a lot will be allowing some of the water move towards the bottom of the vase. So roots located on shallow level will be getting some water and the rest water will be going down towards lake. So roughly uh, I will be watering this orchid once every 20 days in the summer and maybe once every 30-35 days in the winter by misting a lot and upper level sphagnum moss and allowing the water to drop down to the leca level. Generally, um, I do not see any rotting process going on in the vase, so I will be watering with clear water from my reverse osmosis system, and I won't be using any chemicals or natural bacteria which helps with the rotting process. Let me remind you that when repotting an orchid, it is best to use few pieces of its old soil, because it will be, it will be beneficial to create the same type of micro microflora within the new pot. Um, I have already mentions, mentioned in my previous videos that uh, the same logic is working uh, in an aquarium, in fish tank. We all know that before an aquarium becomes established, so in our case this um, orchid vase, uh, 
it requires couple weeks to create beneficial microflora, beneficial bacteria that helps to convert harmful substances into beneficial ones. Um, so uh, it, it is very crucial uh, to add few old barks from previous pot uh, to the new pot. It will help our, our orchid to get established quicker. I did place uh, some uh, of old uh, barks from previous pot into this uh, glass vase uh, in order to help orchid to adapt faster. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe. Do not forget to like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. We will be happy to answer. Thank you. Bye-bye.